Hey everyone, welcome you to this video. In today's video, we are going to see what is inference and what is prediction. Okay, so what is statistical inference and what is it? How it is different from prediction? So let's see that. Okay, so when we say inference, this is the conclusion or some assumption made on the existing data. We can say it as conclusion or the assumption made on the existing data. So what is inferential statistics? So when we deal with population and sample, right? So as you know, we are not accessible for the population data, right? We always work with the sample data. So whatever uh, analysis you're going to do with the sample data, so you uh, have some findings there on the sample data, right? So you try to make a conclusion or assumption based on the sample data and you infer that on the population, right? So you make some assumption or conclusion for the population data using the sample data that we call it as inferential statistics, right? So what is uh, inference? So the process of drawing inferences or conclusions about the population on the basis of or uh, based on the sample data, then that is called as statistical inference, right? Okay, so what is prediction then? So when we say prediction, this is straightforward, right? You're just going to predict a value here. So we always predict a future value, right? So if you try to predict a value for any variable, we call that as prediction, right? Let me tell you this with an example. So let's assume that we have a data set, okay? So let's say you have month, you have quality, you have price, you have sales. So this data set tells that based on month and quality and price, what is the sales made, okay? Let's say this talks about the sales of any mobile, okay? So let's assume that we have a data for every month. Okay, so this talks about the quality of the mobile phone or you can also uh, take it as performance, okay, performance of the uh, phone and uh, we have price of the mobile and based on all these features, what is the sales, okay? Now, uh, what is the sales made for each month, okay? So this is the data set we have. Now, let me ask a question, okay? So I wanted to know which factor influences the sale of the mobile phones? So it requires some analysis here. You need to analyze this data to understand which factor is going to influence the sales, right? So when you perform some analysis, try to find the relationship between the features and see which feature is really going to influence or which helps in predicting the sales, right? So for that, you need to find the relationship between the features, right? So that is what exactly we will do here. So you try to find the relationship and you come up with some uh, inference here, right? So you will identify which factor or which feature here is actually helping in the sales, right? or which has high influence on the sales, which is going to increase the sales, 
increase or decrease, right? So some kind of relationship will be existing. So you need to identify that, right? So when you try to identify this, and if you try to answer this question, then this answer is going to be called as inference. Okay, whatever findings you are going to get for this, right? By analyzing this data. So that we call it as inference. So basically inference is a conclusion or some assumption made on the population data, okay? So you, uh, let's say if you wanted to find the relationship between the features or let's say if uh, any linear or nonlinear relationship exists here in this data set, okay? Or what is the important factor? So uh, all these things, uh, you know, where you will uh, analyze this and you will try to get answer for all that, right? So that is called as inference, okay? Now, here let me ask a question. So if I wanted to find out what will be the sales for next month, okay? So to predict that value, right? To get this value, right? We are going to do the prediction, right? So whatever we get here is called as the prediction, right? So answer for this will be called as prediction and answer for this kind of question is called as inference. Now I hope you can find the difference, right? Whenever we say prediction, it talks about the future value. You are going to predict something, right? Predicting a value for some future Right, that is called as prediction. Okay, and when you try to find the relationship or try to get some information on the existing data, that we call as inference. Okay, so now I hope you understood the difference between inference and a prediction. Right, so thank you all.